Thank you so much for joining us on the Mount Sinai Missionary Baptist Church of Memphis Incorporated YouTube channel. As we move from the year of 2020 that has been an unusual year for many and to a new year that's filled with many possibilities. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, as we stand with anticipation of what the future holds, as time propels us into another year of unknowns and a life filled with hope, give us faith that will re unveil the evidence of things not seen, uh, that we may walk by faith and not by sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to talk to, uh, tonight uh, about... Uh, Letting go to go forward. Letting go to go forward. And our text is found in Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. I'm reading from the uh, King James Version. Uh, I say that because I usually read from the English Standard Version. Uh, Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 3 reads, Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses minister saying, Moses, my servant is dead. And now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people unto the land, which I give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. So again, I'm talking about letting go to go forward. Just as any new job in life, uh, it requires preparation as a key to success. In the next few weeks, I'll be, uh, by the guidance of the Holy Spirit, uh, as he takes my hand and, and leads us forward into the new year, uh, we will offer steps to prepare for a successful year ahead. Success doesn't mean that our path will be void of uh, undesired situations or trials or uh, tribulations, but we have the promise of our God that he will not forsake us. He will not leave us to walk through 2021 alone, just as he has been with us all year through the year of 2020. He will be with us every step of the way. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 says, uh, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith Jehovah, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you hope in your latter end. So we have God's promise to, to, to give us what he's been thinking about since the beginning of time for us before we ever were God was thinking good thoughts on our behalf, thoughts of peace and not of evil, thoughts to give us hope in our latter end. Now, far too often we strike out in life hesitantly uh, because of the unknown. The great narratives of the Old Testament and the New Testament best lends themselves to principles that uh, can be used to preach and teach about the possibilities and the principles that God has for us. And, and it can, the, the, the principles that I'm going to use or teach us of uh, in the next month or so uh, can be used uh, from any subject. And tonight we're just happen, happening to be talking about uh, letting go in order to go forward, or it could just be let go. The reservoir of potential topics uh, for principle uh, is in, inexhaustible for preaching and teaching. And every topic under heaven is a ready subject for exciting uh, biblical principle teaching and pre preaching. Starting over, for instance, is a way that we could look at uh, this subject or tonight's sermon, starting over after last year, starting over, going into a new year. And it offers good examples of principles uh, for topics that we can use. The, the turn of the new century, or the new decade, or even a new year is a wonderful opportunity to encourage one another to get rid of the past and begin anew. 
Anything that helps us to do this is of great value. Now, virtually every one of us carries emotional baggage. A neighbor's abused me might be part of your baggage. A boss fired me. A teacher failed me. A friend lied on me. A spouse was unfaithful to me or may have even divorced you. Uh, in addition, uh, how often do these childhood tapes or ones like them replay themselves in our minds over and over and over again and keep us from going forward? Why can't you be like your sister or your brother or you'll never amount to anything? Too often, thoughts like that uh, uh, hinder us from moving forward. Many of us suffer from the unforgiving spirits rooted in the bitterness towards one another or another person who may even be uh, deceased. Our refusal to forgive may not be hurting anyone else, but it can psychologically, physiologically, and emotionally harm uh uh, us, and it can send us to an early grave and may cause us uh, physical and emotional illnesses. So uh, basically, we want to look at forgiveness as something that we need to do in order to move on. There's no way to overemphasize the importance of letting go or let go in order to go forward. Let the conclusion of the Lord Jesus' prayer emphasize uh, just uh, one thing when he said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 15, he said, uh, but if you don't forgive people, your father will not forgive you of your wrongdoing. Notice that Jesus used the word forgive twice in the same sentence, underscoring its importance. Does this mean that God forgives, uh, his forgiveness is somehow based upon a human work that I must perform or you must perform rather than on the free gift of his grace? Certainly not. God grants his precious favor on the basis of no human work, but upon his marvelous grace. It does not mean that if I, uh, 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 it, it, here's what it really means. If I can't forgive, I will never be in an attitude to humble myself before the Lord Jesus Christ and ask him for his forgiveness. Can I say that again? The reason that uh, uh, we might have a problem with receiving God's free forgiveness, his free gifts, is because if we are not or cannot forgive others, then we will never be able to find ourselves with an attitude to humble ourselves before the Lord and ask him for forgiveness. Our unwillingness to forgive is an indication of a prideful spirit which must yet be nailed to the cross. So important is letting it go that Jesus said, if you come to worship and remember someone has something against you, leave your gift at the altar and go and settle the issue and then come and worship. Now notice that he did not say if you have something against another, but rather he said, if they have something against you, so important is the human relationship as an expression of our right relationship with God that even if, if we have done no wrong, but another has wronged us, we are still responsible for initiating the process of reconciliation because Jesus came down to the cross to reconcile us unto our heavenly father and he left us with a ministry of reconciliation. Now, bitterness, hatred, and unforgiveness must not be dragged into our future, into 2021. This was so important to God that he gave his son to reconcile mankind to himself. And I'm closing now. 
He died a sinner's death. He was buried in a sinner's grave. And after being there three days, he rose for a sinner's justification. God going forward requires letting some things go. And that's what I have for you tonight, the instructions on preparing to go forward into 2021 successfully. I'll continue this uh, on Sunday morning, uh, the sermon for that time. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us as uh, directions on going into the new year uh, that you've given us. Help us to not procrastinate, but to actually follow your instructions. We pray that you would give us health and prosperity as we live for your glory in 2021. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. Don't forget, mask up. Even in 2021, the, the uh, vaccine is uh, rolling out, uh, but uh, it'll be here when it gets here. And we'll receive it when we receive it. Don't be afraid. So mask up in the meantime, practice social distancing, and wash your hands often. And we'll, we'll be positioned for God to carry us through 2021 to a year of hope. Thank you for joining us, and I pray that God will bless you real good. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.